Hi, I am Becky Squire, and this week's article is called Seven Essential Rules for a Long-Lasting Marriage. What is the key to a successful marriage? Well, here's the secret. There are no secrets. However, there are some rules, rules that couples are ignorantly unaware of or intentionally ignore. But if you pay attention to them, these marriage rules result in long-lasting and happy marriages. So the first rule is your spouse is not your roommate. I think every couple goes through the roommate phase every once in a while during their marriage. But when this happens, the key is to intentionally notice that lack of spark and light it again. It's easy to let life get in the way of your romance. But when that happens, put life to the side for just a moment and show your spouse why you are more than just roommates. The next rule is that marriage is not 50-50. I've said this before and I will say it again. Marriage is not give and take. It is give and give on both sides. If you only give half of what you expect in marriage, you will come up shorthanded every time. Wives, you should be giving all you have to your husbands. And husbands, you need to give all you have to your wives. Together you are one. Give everything and expect nothing. And I think sometimes there will be points in your life where you can't give 100%. And that's okay. Let your spouse make up the difference for that time being. And vice versa. But when you can, give everything you have. The next rule is that mistakes in marriage are okay. Despite what you may read in fairy tales or see on Facebook, no marriage is perfect. Your spouse will inevitably make mistakes and so will you. The key is to own up to those mistakes and try your best not to make them again. Patience, understanding, and forgiveness are fundamental to having a great marriage. The next rule is to learn to speak your spouse's love language. Um, do you know what the five love languages are? Even if you have read the book and know what love language your spouse speaks, it can be easy to forget and automatically go back to speaking your own. My love language is quality time. So for me, it feels natural to show my husband that I love him by spending time with him, but he doesn't necessarily feel loved that way. I need to make a conscious effort to speak his love language, especially when it's completely different than my own. The next rule is that marriage is not about you. If you are constantly asking yourself, what's in this for me? Then you have got marriage all wrong. Men and women have needs that are almost completely different, yet both sides are crucial for a happy marriage. Perhaps your spouse isn't fulfilling your needs. Instead of dwelling on their lack of effort, focus on how you can better fulfill their needs and also how you can fulfill your own needs. They will be more likely to be mindful of yours. The next rule is that sex is not a bargaining tool. Whether they realize it or not, many couples will say to each other, you get sex when I get what I want. And even if you're not saying it in those words, you might be saying it in your actions or your attitude. Slowly but surely, that will destroy your marriage every time. Sex should be a priority and valued highly as a couple. When you treat it as such, your relationship will surely be strengthened. And the last rule is that true love isn't just about romance. I will never forget the butterflies in my stomach or the fast paced beat of my heart when I was first dating my husband. Luckily, I still feel those things many years later, but the longer that I have been married, the more I learn about what love actually means. Love is not about those feelings. It's about commitment. It's about service. It is about hard work. Love is about believing the best of each other and doubting the rest. Happily married or not, every couple can benefit from following these marriage rules. 
A successful marriage is an accumulation of simple things, but you have to do the simple things each and every day of your life if you want to make it work. Have a great week.